Hello! So, you want to mod your guy at Goose, do ya? Well, let's start off with the basics. Firstly, there's this thing called the config.ini file. You're gonna need to edit this thing first. So, right click it, select open with, and then open up your notepad. Some people might not have that option, so just click on it, you'll get a pop-up asking you what application you want to open it up with. This is what you should see. Alright, so first of all, you get your version, do not edit. Don't edit this. I don't even I don't know what it does. All I know is you change the value, the goose will crash. Uh, the second file, this is what we're after, enable mods, we're just gonna change that to true. That is not how you spell true. There you go. Uh, next thing, you got your silence mods, blah blah blah, this, they're not mods, sounds, sorry. Uh, but the rest of this stuff, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, if you want to change the color of your goose, like I did in the last video, uh, just set this to true, and then you can change your values right here. Uh, the default color stuff here, this is just the name, don't modify the actual name, everything after that, the value, those are hex. So if you want, you go to uh, some website that talks about hex color codes, like this, find your color, just copy the value, paste it in there, and there you go. Um, the min watering time, seconds, whatever, all that stuff, that's just the minimum amount of time it takes before the goose brings a meme or something like that. You got your maximum time same thing basically uh, and your first wander time this is just how long it takes before the goose initially starts to do anything the main thing is make sure that enable mods is set to true once you got that just hit save close out of that all right so now we're at the part where we actually have to get the mods so first let's head on over to the browser close out of this let's head on over to this so uh, at this point I'll give up with this link in the description below this first page, don't worry about this, this is just about the uh, the old version of the mod, which they all got removed, so don't worry about that. We're looking for this right here, find mods in here, click there, we got a list. These are all the mods that are currently available for the goose, that have been checked and verified and everything like that. Uh, I could make a whole other video explaining what each and every single one of these things does, but for the purpose of this video, we'll just focus on the hat goose, because that seems to be the most popular at the moment. Uh, you're probably wondering why that one has a little warning sign next to it. That's just because that's a clicker mod, which basically clicks on your screen randomly, uh, one single click. It could be potentially uh, harmful to your computer if you're like making a big old essay and it accidentally hits the X button or something like that. It, that's how it's harmful. So for now, we're going to go over to the Hat Goose. We're going to select the zip file. This is the, the download page. You should them have that. Just gonna download that real quick, and I've already got it set up in the mods folder over here. Just take your download, bring it over to your mods folder. Once you got this, we're just gonna unzip it right here. The rainbow strobe mod that you see right here, this comes by default. We don't need this, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna create a new file. You can name it anything you want. I'm just gonna make it disable. Just uh, drag it on into there. If it's in a second folder, it disables the mods. After you've done that, you can just delete the zip file. We don't need that anymore. So now we've got our hat goose thing, and if you see here, we've got this little issue. This appears sometimes with some of the mods. You might encounter this. It's going to be a double folder. So what we have to do here is we just copy all the contents of that folder, copy it over, go back by one, and then just paste it here. You could delete the old file here, and it should only appear in the one folder inside the mods folder. This is a weird issue. Uh, but it's a pretty easy fix. There you go, you can see it's all good now. After that, the goose should run like normal, so let's head on back over to here. Start up the launcher. Yes, this is a warning that appears for every single time, it's for legal reasons. Uh, right here, there you go, now you've got your goose with your own little dapper hat right there. Alright, so that was the long way to download the mod. There's a shorter way, and we're going to do that through the GitHub launcher. So head on back over to your GitHub page over here, and you're going to hit on the launcher download right here. Uh, they got the source code and stuff right here. You don't need this. All, you, all we're after is the .exe file. I'll go over the 2.0 beta in a little bit. For now, we'll just stick with this one because this is the most stable one at the moment. Alright, once you've got your uh, launcher installed, just put it wherever you want it to. I got mine on my desktop right now. Click on that. And there you go, you got a nice little menu right here. So from here, all you need to do is just select whichever mod you want. So let's go with. Uh, Hat Goose, where are you? There you are. 
just right click that, install, it'll come up with a pop-up. Some of these mods will do that, some won't. It's just because of the size of the mod, some need to be compressed. So, uh, because this thing isn't able to automatically unzip them, we gotta do it for it. So just right click on it, extract, and bam, there it is. Let's just delete the old zip file. Uh, it's still gonna have this double folder issue. That gets fixed up with the beta as well, which is really nice. Just paste that all in there, just like I explained late earlier. And there you go. Now if we run the goose, it's like yes. And there you go. Get yourself a hat. Alright, so now we'll go on to the beta. So what we'll do is we'll just head on back over to the link that we had before. And instead of clicking on this, we'll go over to this. The little 2.0 beta out now. Click on that. Again, ignore the source code. We're only interested in the .exe right here, so we'll just save that. And I've already got it installed, put on the desktop right here, so just click on that. And here we go. It's a little bit of a different menu. Nice to look to everything. From here, you can see all your mods. You've got your nice little short description. And this time, we don't need to right-click on all the mods. It'll work right-click or left-click. You'll have this little prompt appear. You can install whichever one you want. Let's go with breadcrumbs. Install that. And that's all there is to it. Just uh, go to Goose, select Run, yes. And if I press right shift, we got some breadcrumbs appearing. So this takes care of all the extraction, this takes care of most of the work for you. Uh, there may be a few bugs in this one, it is the beta after all, but uh, so far so good I would say. If you have any issues with this, just feel free to tell everybody on the Discord. We've got a support channel over there. There's plenty of people willing to help you out. Alright, so now the rest of this video is going to be about just the goose itself. You've got everything you need to know about the uh, mod and everything. For now, let's just go over here. If you want to put memes into the mod goose, all you need to do is go to Assets, Images, Memes, and there you go. You've got your whole list of them. Alright, and if we want to change our sound effects or anything like that to custom sounds, all we need to do is just go back, go to sound, uh, music. This one, this is the music or sound that plays in the beginning. So if I just right click on it, there you go. Rename it to just music. Goose will pick that up. And if I go back to here and I launch it, there should be music that plays. There you go, you can hear it. It's the piano. I'm just going to keep that continuing. There we go. Alright, so now if we wanted to do anything else, you could, again, you could change that sound to whatever you want. In the last video, I had the doime whole thing playing. Uh, you could change it to that, whatever, just make sure it's named to music. There's also some other sound effects that are not embedded right here. These are the honk sounds. Make sure they're still named honk or bite or mud squid. This, you know that kind of stuff. Otherwise, the uh, the program will pick them up All right. and get rid of the old ones as well. Uh, over here, within the text section, we've got our notepad messages. These are the little notepads that the goose brings out. If you want, you can make a brand new one right here. Just a new text document. Name it hi. I don't know. Whatever. The name doesn't matter. What's the side of this is what matters here. So let's say. Uh, Let's say this vid sucks. There you go. Just put a little extra whatever in here just to make it seem like the boost is walking across your keyboard or something. I don't know. Hit save. There you go. Exit out of that. And it'll stay in there. So then the goose will bring it out randomly along with the rest. It should also be noted that the memes that are allowed in this, you can have multiple different types of images. It's not just PNG, you can have JPEGs or whatever. Uh, we also, the GIFs are also supported, you can go through a whole bunch of stuff. You just can't put like full-blown videos and stuff in there. Alright, that's all I got for this video. Feel free to let me know if I missed anything. If I missed something big enough, I'll make sure to make another vid. I'll also upload a new video if there's any big updates on the goose. Links to everything in the description. Thanks for watching.